Hi guys, Dr. Lavin. So today is Thursday, the 29th of October, and it's World Stroke Day. Now, the whole point of World Stroke Day is to raise awareness about stroke and hopefully learn a few things that we can all try and do to prevent or reduce the risk of developing stroke in our lifetime. So, what is a stroke? Well, a stroke is where we have a blockage or a disruption of blood flow to the brain that sadly can cause quite serious consequences around the body. Now, we commonly know some of these consequences. So you see in the adverts about the facial droop, the dropping of the face, we can have loss or lack of sensation around the body, particularly our limbs, and also loss of strength or loss of power in our arms and legs. There are other things like difficulty swallowing, as well as difficulty in speaking or loss of speech. We sadly also have effects on the memory and more long-term problems with things like depression. Now, what are the statistics? Well, did you know that in the UK, every five minutes someone suffers with a stroke? Did you also know that in our adult lifetime, that we have a risk of developing a stroke, which is one in four. Now, these are quite serious and significant statistics. So a few things that we can all try and do to reduce our risk of developing stroke, a couple of medical conditions that we need to try and avoid developing, or if we have, we need to try and control, and that's things like diabetes and high blood pressure. If you do suffer from these, try and follow lifestyle advice to try and bring this down, and lifestyle advice meaning diet and exercise, or do take medication under the recommendation of your doctor to try and control this as best as we can, because this sadly increases our risk of stroke. When we're talking about exercise, we're talking about 30 minutes a day, potentially five times a week, which would be ideal. This could actually lead to a weight loss and therefore reduce our risk of cholesterol and therefore risk of stroke. Um, in terms of diet, we're talking about fresh fruit, we're talking about fresh vegetables, and we're talking about oily fish. All of these can actually improve and hopefully stop the risk of developing uh, stroke. Most importantly, smoking. Stop, stop, stop smoking completely. If you can't, at least try and reduce as best as you can. It costs huge amounts of money. It increases the risk of things like bladder cancer, pancreatic cancer, lung cancer, increases our risk of heart disease, and sadly increases our risk of stroke. If you are going to enjoy a drink, please drink alcohol in moderation or try and stop completely. And a few other things, things like licit drugs, things like cocaine, please stop that. They do increase our risk of heart attack and also things like stroke. And if you do suffer from conditions such as atrial fibrillation or peripheral vascular disease, which your doctor will know about, please have this under control because all of these factors together can, if in control, reduce our risk of developing stroke. So today on World Stroke Day, please spare a thought for those who have suffered with a stroke but let's do everything we can please tell your family and friends to find methods and ways to try and reduce our risk of developing stroke and therefore we can have a good and stable life stay well